Hey, it's Don Davis, Professor of Mathematics here with you as we talk about using Desmos to calculate permutations and combinations. Now, Desmos is a free online graphing calculator used primarily for classes like college algebra or calculus. But it can also be used for some calculations in statistics. For example, summary statistics, like computing the sample mean and sample standard deviation. It can also be used for measures of relative standing to find a minimum value, a maximum value, and the median value in a set of discrete data. But what we want to do is to count, concentrate on the counting techniques, in particular factorials, permutations, and combinations. So to get Desmos, you can get it three ways. First, if you have a PC, you simply want to point your web browser to www.desmos.com or if you have a smartphone or a tablet you can download Desmos from either Google Play or the Apple App Store. Just search under Desmos. Now to get the counting technique operations, here's what we want to do. First open Desmos and then click on the functions button. It, it says F-U-N-C-S on a tablet or a PC and it says the word functions as you see here on a PC. Alright, the one circled in red. And then you want to click on the stats tab. You see that circled in blue here. And then that gives us access to these three operations, the factorial, the combination, and the permutation. So let's see how this works here with some examples. How about this? Calculate 11 factorial to determine the number of ways a personal digital audio player can shuffle 11 songs. So here we go with Desmos. I have it opened up. and I'll just click in the left side answer box and you'll see we see I have the uh, functions button. I'll click on it and then click on the stats tab and we want 11 factorial so I'll first type in 11 and then the n factorial key and that gives us the operator there for the factorial and it also gives us the solution. So it looks like here the number of ways the songs can be shuffled will be what? 39,916,800. Alright, so let's try a couple more here. How about this? Calculate the combination 75 choose 5 to determine how many ways 5 numbers can be chosen from 1 to 75 for the Mega Millions game. So we'll go back to Desmos and click on Functions, Stats, and combination and we'll enter 75 go past the comma and then we'll put in 5 the number of values we want to choose so what do we get for that it looks like uh, 72 17 million 259,390 ways all right so that's how we can compute a combination with Desmos and let's go ahead and do one more here Calculate the permutation 20 select 3 to determine the number of ways that 20 members of the art club can select a president, a vice president, and a secretary. All right. So one more time going to the Desmos screen. Clicking on permutation now. And we want to put in 20. Go past the comma and then enter 3. And it looks like that's... 6,840 ways. So that's how we can compute factorials, combinations, and permutations using Desmos.